Hey guys, so I know today I've been really bad about vlogging throughout the day. I was really good yesterday and then today I was kind of a mess. So basically this is my outfit. It's the same outfit I wore to work for basically. Um, but sorry, there was like a commercial with Diana Agron, which I'm not sure if it's coming back to Glee. Hmm. So anyway, so today was kind of a crazy day, crazy morning really. Um, what happened was, so I woke I when I ended up going to bed, like at, I think, around 2-ish, and um, so I finally went to bed. I woke up at 7, I still took a shower, got ready, got my makeup on, uh, shaved my legs and everything, and ran out of the house um, around 7.40, 45 or something like that. Um, didn't brush my hair, I brushed my hair on my way to school, and because sometimes you just got a multi-desk at the stoplights, I was like, <sighs> um, but thankfully it doesn't take as long as it used to, so that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, so I went to school, I got there kind of early, I got the Scantron he had said he wanted, it turns out we use a regular old Scantron that we always use, the one with a hundred a hundred question thing answered things um you know the one that's like 50 on one side 50 on the other um so yeah didn't have to go by that one didn't have to rush for that but anyways i got to school i read half of the last chapter that i needed then i kind of did a little bit more of the study guide and i think i should have gotten i should get a b i just for little mistakes that i did with the whole what threw me off was actually like, not the specific, I actually remember the dates really well, I remember pros propositions and amendments pretty well. Although there was one that I got, like, slightly confused on, it was a privacy one. But other than that, um, the ones that really threw me off were actually the federalism ones, like dual federalism, competitive, permissive. It was just like a whole jumble of things, and I was like, I'm sure some of them are actually synonyms for each other, but I couldn't figure out which ones, and it was just kind of confusing. Other than that, though, I think I should get an A or a B. For sure a, B, a solid B, um, but I'm hopeful maybe I can even get that A because everything else seemed to be pretty pretty much like what I, what I already knew and everything like that, pretty common sense actually. Um, sorry, my arm keeps getting tired. My phone's usually not this heavy, but I don't know. Maybe it's because I used to use the other case as well. Mm, a little cassette case. Maybe I'll use that for a while. Again, so anyways, so basically my boyfriend was also doing his lab. We were just kind of uh, like downing my star my bottled frappuccino and eating my croissant, my cheese croissant, and then my boyfriend was like doing his thing and then we both like rushed off to class. I sat in my seat, took the test, everything. I actually got out like 15 minutes early, so I got out at 10.30, although I was pretty much done by... 9.45, which is about 15 minutes into class. Most people were done pretty quickly. I just wanted to, like, make sure I went I went back and, like, checked my answers, but I know the some of the federalism ones I definitely got wrong because I was like, I am so confused. Like, just the way they were worded kind of were tricky and stuff, and, like, I don't know. But um, I tried my best, so... We'll see when the test gets back to me. Hopefully I get it back on Thursday or next Tuesday at the latest. Um, so then, yeah, so then after that we were hungry. I had actually brought my gym clothes with me, but my boyfriend did. I was like, honestly, I know I keep making excuses, but today is just like, I'm just tired. Like I can finally just like, let it, exhale, 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 I don't know what the fuck's wrong. Exhale, and like relax so we went to in and out even though I was still full from the croissant and stuff I was like my boyfriend was like well I know you don't really want to eat but I kind of wanted in and out I was like nope done I've been craving that I've been craving my animal fries and you know if you put food in front of me I'll probably just eat it anyway even if I'm full I could be like I'm so full um so we went and then we're like well what should we do next because like we were both kind of tired and we're like we don't like, I thought maybe he wanted to go to Best Buy, I was like, I'm tired. So, we went to 
the mall because he wanted to check out a perfume. He's like, let's go to Sephora. I was like, S I was like, I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you want to go to Sephora? He's like, yeah. I was like, this isn't a joke. There's no like hidden cameras or anything. He's like, no. They're like, I want to go. I was like, are you gonna buy me my present? Do you need help? <laughs> he's like, it's like no. He's like, I actually ran out of perfume and I wanted to go check a new one out and see if they had it there. I was like, well. Either way, he got me at Sephora, so we went. They didn't have it at Sephora, though. They Well, like, they didn't have a test for there. Like, it was all closed. So we went to Macy's instead, and um, he smelled the one that I liked a little. So I keep hinting at people. My parents, anyone who will listen, that I want uh, Ger Lenny Gillen um, perfume. I'm, I hope I'm saying it right. I don't know. I feel like you should say it with a French accent, but it, it could be Gerlaine or... You know, some people might just be like, it's Garlane. Like, what are you talking about, crazy girl? But, Garlane. Um, and it's La Petite Robe Noir. So, I really want that perfume. It's like, it smells so good. It makes me feel like so girly and sweet. Like, it feels so, so romantic in it. But, you know, we'll see. But anyway, so we went and we smelled on counter and we're like, I'm like, I don't know, it smells, like, I'm not really good with, like, saying, like, oh, this smells fruity. Like, I can kind of pick up citrus scents, but that's about it. Like, honestly, I'm, like, I think it has to do with, like, my deviated septum and, like, me not be, being able to breathe, like, smell things all that well anyway. So, like, I can distinguish the smell, but I can't tell you, like, oh, this is woodsy, this is spicy, this is, like, floral and stuffs so I'm just like it just smells good <laughs> um I get really confused I know it's like I'll admit to that like that's the one thing I'm really bad at like foundation at least I can kind of like be like okay no that's like definitely not it perfume yeah I, I'm really bad at that like just I try to determine the sense I'm trying to educate myself in perfumery but um it's kind of hard so Anyways, so we went and it's just, it was like, we are laughing on our way out of the mall actually because we just wanted to go check. He's like, well, he's like, you know, the thing is, I'm running out of my euphoria for men. Just, I love that, that perfume for men. I don't know, but there's something about that perfume. It just like, it just smells so good to me. It's like, I don't know, it's just like that. It's like not manly, like, you know, like, ugh, but it's just, I don't know, it's, just smells good so anyways um but we want to try something else and like encounter though was like it really was a oh uh, you know you feel I, I was like yeah I feel like I don't know like that's like the kind of man that just takes the woman and stuff and like you know bricks all day cutting down trees he's a true lumberjack you know old like lives in the woods cabin creature and stuff I don't know it just smells like that it's like when we were like, yes, it's an encounter, an encounter with the trees and the wood, and, um, and all the nature. <laughs> it's like nature just encounters you. <laughs> so, anyway, um, and then we were still bored, and then my mom gives me a call that her car broke down at the Vons, and, you know, she had just picked up the kid, and she goes, I have no idea. She goes, it just kind of started shaking and just, like, stalled. She goes, there, like, it was a busy, like, it was crazy busy at Vons. And so then she called AAA, and she goes, I just need you to be at the house so that you can sign off for it and stuff. And, like, I even gave her, like, an air freshener. I was like, he's like, do you want one, too? I was like, I'm good. I just got one. Um... And then I just kind of relaxed at home. I was like, I'm going to watch TV. Well, I kind of cleaned my room up a little. Actually, I finally vacuumed tonight. And my bed's made and everything. So it's kind of, it's nice and clean. I just have to, like, now pledge everything. And, um, dust, basically. Which is not my favorite part. Although I feel like rearranging this room. But I always say that. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll give it, like, the end of the year. And then I'll be like, nope, new year, new look. <laughs> Again. Um, I can always change it back, right? So anyways, and then I finally went to work, and Dempsey again said, she goes, I, I don't feel well. She goes, you know what? I'm sick of this nonsense. I've had enough. I'm just tired of it. I was like, oh, 
okay. She was just like, she just says this randomly, but it was, I was like cracking up. I was like, my conversations with a three-year-old are quite sophisticated, a lot more than some of the people like my peers. So, yeah. And then, um, but she was being really naughty after we got back from dance class. She didn't want to listen. She was like kicking, hitting, saying no, not wanting to go to the bathroom, hitting the tub. She was just... She's been going through her naughty face lately. I guess the terrible twos just caught up. And it's like, for whatever reason, it's like, the moment in the when they're three, like, they're, like, really bad, and, like, the terrible two really kicks in, and then all of a sudden they're like, sweet as kid ever. Really strange. But, um, so, yeah. And then her mom made me pizza, and, like, we were, like, talking about, like, crazy stories about just what's going on and everything and I was like yeah and I had this test and she's like oh she goes yeah tell me about it she goes today it was just kind of like one of those bizarre days she goes I have like no I'm just so tired I don't even know what like she goes, I'm getting all she goes I don't know she goes I'm just going I feel like I'm gonna lose my mind today I was like oh and then um she just posted that my boss just posted that she also told Tempsey also told her dad she goes dad I've had enough of your nonsense. Just, uh, like, it cracks us up. We think she's getting this for a teacher, but we don't know. So, um, there's that. And then, when I was on my way home, I get a call from Jessi one of Jessica's sister's friends, or friend's sisters, that she wants me to babysit. The only thing, it's in th it would be in Thousand Oaks. It might be on a Friday. Um... And it might be the Friday that Dempsey's mom is actually coming back. It just, it would be a crazy week. And I think by that time I'll probably be pretty tired. And I might be missing class that day anyway. And so it's just kind of crazy. Um, so I just hope there's nothing going on. I'm going to ask my teacher if I can somehow make it up um, that day. Oh my god. They're going to have something called lol work. On Bravo. I kind of want to see that. I'm not going to lie. It looks really funny. They're bringing cats to the workplace. Like, I'm not sure if it's like lol cats or something like that, but it's pretty funny. So, yeah. Um, anyway. So, yeah, she was asking me. So, I'm still going to think about it, but I want to confirm with my boss exactly what's going on. And, um, but honestly, I think I'm just going to say no. Because it's like, she goes, you know, we'll compensate you like your fee plus you know whatever extra for the thousand oaks thing but honestly um it would be kind of a crazy day and i don't know if i'm willing to do that i mean i need the money don't get me wrong but that's just like too out there and stuff like in case the kids fall asleep and then they feel bad that i'm going home late or i'm too tired or anything it's just like thousand oaks is far for me it's not that far, like, to go on, like, Saturday to the mall, but then, like, if you're, like, going there for work at night and stuff, it's just, it's not worth it. And it's, like, we barely go to the outskirts of Thousand Oaks, but I'm not sure, like, how far in to Thousand Oaks this wedding would be. So, I'm still thinking about it. But, yeah. Then I got home and back in my room, because I don't really have homework. Well, I mean, I have homework, but I can, I can wait for tomorrow. Um, till tomorrow, I mean. And, um my mom thankfully we have like that extra car so she's able to drive my dad's car for now until like they fix her car again and um, my dad drives the truck but yeah anyways I'm kind of tired so that's pretty much it for today kind of crazy I know um just a lot of things that went on a lot of random things so anyways so tomorrow the plan oh and I made I finally made an appointment with an ENT so great um Ford, though, hasn't gotten back to me. I'm getting pretty mad about that. Anyway, I am going to go to bed pretty soon. Um, and I will just talk to you guys tomorrow. So if you have anything to say, or if you have kids or nephews or sisters or brothers or something that say the darnest things, I'd like to hear exactly just how sophisticated toddlers can get. So leave that in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Anyways, I will try to edit more tomorrow, and I'll probably leave some videos uploading for you guys today so that you're not waiting forever for July. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Anyways, good night.